Okay, hello everyone. So this is my short reply to Lewis. I already made like a two hour long video where me and uh, Raven, a friend of mine, went through the entire entire like hour long video that Lewis had made. But it was mostly just pointless. I mean, we just did it for the laughs. I mean, I think Lewis's video was just totally unnecessarily long. I mean, it just went all over the place. But enough of that. So, Lewis, if you're watching this, like, understand that I think you have, you're just, you're missing the point. If you really wanna, like, prove that the Holodomor was a genocide or that the famine was man-made deliberate genocide to kill ethnic Ukrainians, you need to find a letter which says, uh, by the Soviet authorities or Stalin or something, that says, now take all the Ukrainians' food away so that we can kill them. Because that doesn't exist. There's no evidence to, su to suggest that it targeted ethnic Ukrainians. There's no evidence to suggest that it was uh, deliberate murder, and therefore, it, therefore, no evidence to suggest it was it was a genocide. You're claiming that it was caused by policy, which I don't agree with, but you can claim that. Um, and then you are claiming that it uh, affected mostly Ukrainians, of course, because it took place in Ukraine. Uh, but from that you go to saying that it was deliberate murder uh, targeting ethnic Ukrainians, which is just totally baseless. Like, you dismiss every historian except the ones you agree with. It's like, okay, I can understand that you dismiss Fur, but y you even dismiss Tauger and Getty both with these ri ridiculous ad hominem attacks. Like, you say that because Getty admits that there were some things that he wasn't, that he was wrong about, because the archives weren't open back in the day. That, that somehow invalidates everything he has ever said, which is ridiculous. L and you also act like Stephen and Wheatcroft agree with you, when in fact they don't. Uh, they don't agree with Tauger either. They say that Tauger is on the other extreme of the spectrum, and that they're kind of in the middle, and Getty is kind of in the middle, and that uh, people like Snyder and Conquest are at the other extreme end of the spectrum. You agree with Conquest, you agree with Snyder, Wheatcroft doesn't agree with Snyder or Conquest. And in fact, most mainstream historians kind of side with Wheatcroft and Getty and the mismanagement argument. They say that the famine was at least partially caused or aggravated by policy, but nobody seriously says that they did it deliberately to kill people. Most mainstream historians say that it was a mistake, an accident. Then there's Tauger, who says that policy played no role that regardless of policy it would have happened. And uh, apparently some other people as well, who, th who um, other historians who say that. And then there's Snyder and these basically Nazi apologists who say that it was all just done deliberately to kill Ukrainians, which is laughable.